Hello, welcome to the seventh and last part of the second Pal 19 compendium. In this part, we are going to take a look at uh, the post transition of one game that was the seventh game of the Kit Pal World Cup final. That was me against Mörke. Long story short, that was, it's, that was the best of nine. The score was 3 3. And I was about to transition. Merkel just transitioned. We started the post transition run. I was about 70,000 points behind. They kept going, made uh, quite a significant lead in the process, but toppled first. And then I was to chase down a very low 600. And fifty. I'm very. Well, I'm. I mean, six hundred and fifty thousand and something uh, score. So let's see. Let's start in here. That's interesting because back then, well, that was from twenty twenty one. I wasn't really into just transitioning into uh, nineteen speed yet. I was still trying some Tetrises at the very transition. So here. That's quite a good example why not to do it, uh, actually. I make the, this maze drop at line 125, which causes some real trouble. I get this lumbar, which saves me basically. Without it, it would be very difficult to survive it. And now, that's quite in an interesting placement. Basically, it would be just fine to burn this double and burn into the transition in this way. But here I decided to bring it all the way to the left, which is very good as well. Because even after this burn, there could be some trouble with this left due to this point being higher than this kind of hole uh, at the, on the very left. Here it goes, the same with this, just sacrificing one more line. I really want something to burn to the very bottom here, so either an uh, L or a Lomba. It arrives, and here the 19th day starts. We're playing two of ground, those burns are taken, and here this is first like minor mistake. It would be much better to rotate this T because if it's ro put flat like this, we have the same whole kind of hole here and here. So it might be a little bit more difficult to burn out of it. While if uh, the T was put in this way, then this is this LJ hole, but this is T Z hole. On in this direction, this is LJ hole, and this is S T hole. Most likely to be by far the best to put it in this direction because in this way those Z's and T's don't put any additional stuff over this hole, while in after this direction an L here would put this point over this one. So it theoretically would be slightly more difficult to open up. Right? Let's go, this goes here, here. This is a mistake, this all should go all the way to the left, surely. Making sure uh, that the left is gonna be safe for next few lines. Now it isn't. And isn't that obvious, it will be open that easily. This all goes to the left, that's good. And now this one goes here because it has a perfect spot here. There is no better piece to fill up this hole with then the ETO. Okay. Here, Lomba goes to the left. It could also go left flat. They both would be fine. This one might be slightly better though, because theoretically, in this kind of situation, in order to open this point, we need a piece here and here. So we put one here immediately. If that was to be put to the left, 
then we still need two pieces, one here and the second one here. Okay, and here we open it. This is all fine. That's kind of a line sacrifice again. It isn't necessary, really. It would be better to put this S simply here. Then this L goes here or here, doesn't really matter. Now it's kind of a necessary sacrifice. This number would most likely be slightly better here, flat on the right, because there's no rush opening this, while now here we have a lot of burns. We can put uh, Z, S, T, J, L, pretty much anything besides O and Lomba. Well, in this way, once it's put here, there are only two truly good pieces, S and T. Lombar also works, but it doesn't even open immediately. So it might be slightly better to put this Lombar all the way to the left, flat here, like this, and then slowly open it up here and there. It would be much safer, much easier, and the left would be prepared for that. Unfortunately, it isn't possible to bring this Lombar vertically to the left, because it's already three high. If it wasn't three high, but like only one line over it, then it would be much by far the best to bring this lomba vert vertically to the left. So this is all fine. We're just trying to use the whole space, waiting for pieces to get here. This T also can go here flat, it shouldn't really matter which one we choose. And this number goes to the side, now it's very nice. Of course there will be no intentional Tetris attempted, because I knew I was behind Merke and uh, he was still playing. So it's just regular chase, I'm trying to outlive your opponent, by far the best thing to do in this kind of situation. Yeah, unfortunately, it has to be played like, like this. This L can go to the left without quick tap because it's three high. It's all fine. So we'll see now, unfortunately, we have to wait for either Lomba or J here, or do a quick tap like I did in this case. And it's quite a good decision, I believe, because now the bot is completely out of control. There isn't really anything that can be done with that. It's basically like kind of all or nothing situation. If we keep this quick tap, it doesn't really matter if it's T or S or Z, sorry, or a Lomba. I mean, Lomba wouldn't happen because Lomba would go here, but it doesn't really matter if it's T or uh, Z. We, are, we have so many burns here, so many different kinds of burns, uh, that it should be relatively easy to open up from that. We burn and we got open up slowly. Here there was lost dust. I don't know if you saw that. Here that was very late, but 
fortunately I managed to get enough dust back in order to bring this S all the way to the left. This goes all to the side. Now the boat is completely broken down. It's completely broken down the, the spite it doesn't really seem to. The problem is with this lumbar, it's a complete misplacement, complete mistake. This lumbar has to go to the left, to the far right, obviously. So the left will also be great, but unfortunately it's very high, so impossible. That's why this kind of situation slumber really has to go to the right because otherwise what's created a triple hole. It's one, two, three. And this triple hole can create can make a lot of trouble very soon. As far as remember it costs some. Another mistake, this lumbar should go to the right just the same way as the previous one should have. In this way it would be pretty much okay then because this hole would be transformed into both side open one and this would be still open to the left. Now we still have a triple hole. It's one, two, three. Very difficult to manage. Yeah, it, it looks like I decided to go into this dependency. It's quite fine and quite smart in a way because now we can entirely sacrifice this line. So if there's a an L piece, it just goes here, ignoring this line. So that if we get either T or S here, we are only one line of the ground with pretty safe right and pretty open left. So it should be all fine. And still there is a chance to get a long bar before having to do anything else with the right. For example, if we get S on two pieces, we can put comfortably in the middle or long bar immediately or near immediately. It's all fine. It can still go all the way to the right. That's why this position isn't as bad as it may seem now. We got the lumbar, we burn. This is a good burn. J goes to the left, and here we have this great typical setup on the left where we get J, Z, J. Very typical. Of course, quite rare that in such a succession that these three pieces come. And so it's, it's really possible to use them in this way, but the idea can be displayed here very nicely. This is again quite rush. Maybe I was going to try this Tetris because it's setting up itself and this one would be pretty safe. The whole thing is that this is five high. So if we get this Tetris set up, it will be double well ready here and this double will be open to the right side, which is a good thing here because we are on the fourth column, which is on the left. We are with the, on the left with the well, so it's better if it's open to the right by default. Nevertheless, in this situation, it would be much better in terms of safety to put this uh, either here or here. I would prefer this one, personally because there are a lot of good burns then in this double well. Okay, Lombard comes, so immediately out of the setup, burning it all down very nicely. This is also kind of acceptable move, because after this, it makes it three high, so it's quite higher. Although in this situation, it's completely unnecessary. This line sacrifice isn't necessary by any means. We can simply put this L here, and it will be fine as well. It will be just fine after this L in this way. And 
that's yet another mistake that of the same time type I talked about a lot in the previous part, the sixth part, that instead of putting this L vertically in this direction, which would be by far the best, I put it horizontally. I have no idea why. I thought about it a little, I've been thinking about it a, bit, a, little, a little bit, maybe that's because it's just much easier to bring this L in this way to the left than in the vertical way, because the vertical way requires full dust, but it's not an excuse. It really has to go there vertically if possible. And I'm sure most, if not all of those times, it was possible to bring it there vertically. Well, that's either a misdrop or a very clumsy move. Well, yeah, it's just a terrible mistake. This number really has to go all the way to the right in order to make sure there are no problems with the right. I don't believe I was just trying to rush it that much, open in this one, it makes no sense. You can play one of the ground easily. The slumber really has to go there, all the way to the right. Okay, this is all fine. Here, this burn is fine, but it can also go to the right here immediately. Pin the hole, most likely it will be even slightly better there. Open blind can wait a bit more, I'm sure. Okay, into here. This is also fine, not necessary maybe. Here is also possible, but it has some good sides. Uh, the thing is, after this, we are like we have like two massive holes, which all together creates such a serious problem. This with this would be very problematic. Now, it's enough that we get anything that fills uh, two deep hole, like L or J or Lomba, and we are out of any trouble. This isn't problematic at all. That's why I think it would be slightly better to put this L here instead of here. In this way we would have sides built out. Now we are in the kind of left to the right, kind of started the right well set up. Right here it's all fine. We're doing just fine. Slowly burning, trying to build up the sides. This uh, the same story. It would be slightly better to to put put here, all the way to the left vertically. Fortunately, missed once again. Here we have the first serious misdrop. Happens sometimes, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depends on what you want from the game. It w would be very boring w without misdrops, though. We're slowly working out it, at, and as you can see, the miserable was so lucky that it doesn't cause any major trouble. This lumba is a very good placement, although it makes the third column six high, while the first, while the first and the second one are a bit lower. It still makes it uh, much easier in a way that now you don't have to worry that. When seeing this, you'd put something additional over this hole. Lomba is the only piece which can fill this point in a way that none of those get filled. I mean, if you get a T, you put another 
point here. It's over this. Z puts additional 2 over this. J additional 1 over this. L additional 1 here and here. So uh, long bar here, despite it creates this kind of hole on the very left, is still a good placement. Maybe it doesn't seem too bad. It is. It's now very important. This O doesn't rush burn, but it goes all the way to the left. The J would be much better following it. Here. Now we again have kind of unnecessary hole in a way, but it's fine. And another very nice O to the left, no rush with burning, just pre preparing the bolt. And yet another J, very nice to the right, preparing the bolt for, for further pieces. This S would be much better following it on the right here and on the second one here. Now, the, again, the same, the, this piece itself as well would be much better here on the right. Yeah, but it isn't that much of, the, of a problem at the end of the day. It's pretty much all right, though. Yeah, all right-ish. Especially with this one, these two pieces on the left are great. And this one, this S should go here to the right, not creating any additional unnecessary more complicated holes. So this simply simply goes here to the right. This goes to the right, to the left. That's good. This is kind of a line sacrifice, but this one's pretty nice. Although completely unnecessary, it would be much simpler and better to put it vertically on the right. It's just completely unnecessary. It's very typical tournament play during those kind of chase downs or races that we make a lot of placements which seem to be like very safe kind of unnecessarily safe but in reality they are just kind of bad like this one there's absolutely no need to put this lumbar flat in this way it would be just way better using the most simple, using the simplest, the most obvious way of putting it vertically to the right. There's no single reason not to put it there. But for some reason we see this burn and we go for it. Very typical mistake that, that is. This all would be slightly better all the way to the left. in the space which there is on the left okay and this is all fine now the same with the second with this second o it should also follow all the way to the right uh, sorry to, to the left oh this on by is completely misplaced. That's the same situation which I already uh, told something about in one of the previous parts. When we get this kind of setup and get a lumbar, most likely it's better to put the lumbar flat on the left. When we have this kind of block here, like four wide, three high, 
most likely the best placement is to put the lumbar flat on the left. Of course, when it isn't like obviously needed somewhere else, but in this case it isn't, so most likely it's the best to put it there. It would be also possible to put this lumbar vertically to the right. This one isn't that good because it creates this wall. I mean, I know we can we there already is kind of a wall here. But this is like three high and already open here. Where this is like truly three high, making this four right here. Now the perfect piece to the left would be a lumbar. So then it kind of means in itself that this lumbar put vertically on the fifth column wasn't optimal. Same with this O, it would be better on the left. Finally, one goes there. And this one, now it isn't that bad. It, this one doesn't have to go all the way to the left. Here is fine because it has this perfect kind of shape to be put in here. So this one is completely fine. This is J. I'm not sure about it. It seems slightly better either here or all the way to the left, which is the thing I would prefer. Just when you have such a flat left and get a J, this J really suits in there. It's very, it just gives the board this proper left to the right shape. Just looks how beautiful it would be like going like this. Here, one piece to the right, for example, T, and we have basically perfect board, ready for a lot of burns. Okay, fine, and there's some wide play. Now this number goes horizontally to the left. When it doesn't have to, now it can go vertically to the left, which would be slightly better, or to the right, solving one of those kind of holes, which also would be pretty decent. So now this horizontal lumbar to the left isn't as good as the previous one would have been. Okay, this is fine. Same with this. J, it would be slightly better here, I believe. Yeah. But this is kind of fine as well. There's some wide play. Once again, it's all fine. That's quite unlucky that we get a piece that forces this double hole here, here and here. But it isn't that bad, it's only one issue. One issue is manageable almost always okay that's interesting why do i sacrifice this line as well it doesn't seem to be necessary for now of course this, this lumbar is a uh, complete mistake it should have gone all the way to the right, or maybe even sacrifice the line, but here. This is also quite interesting, because the thing is that after this number, both T and Z, which are perfect pieces here, don't put anything over this hole once it's, once it's filled here. So in this way, it could be 
even the best placement but why not just to the right yeah just lazy move and serious mi mistake at least this one goes to the right but here I have no idea why this S is put in the middle of the board in this way such a loose way I don't know I think the best place to put the the best place to put it is either here so that we get this burn and then immediately open this or here in this way uh, we sacrifice two lines like totally this and this but we are going to have the whole access to this line which also should be just look all right now it might be difficult to burn out of this yeah this l to the right it's fine but i wonder if it wouldn't be better here on the left this one seems to be quite a viable option as well yeah much better one. Although it creates this double hole, so maybe it's slightly better to bring it all back down at least a bit as soon as possible. Well, who knows? This, the thing I did here is fine, surely. And this burns. This is the thing that this doesn't really help because we then we would get into this too wide here too wide here no left no right situation in this way this where this one row uh, lower and uh, we have the sides at this accessible kind of cleanly we can put pieces here here and so with this left we are just we have, we have just purely sacrificed two lines two lines sacrifice isn't that bad yet three lines is but two lines is still acceptable and now we are in this oh, well the, these three are absolutely perfect pieces all to the right t to put here and then l to follow that's really, really great. And a bit of rush once again, completely unnecessary. This J same people goes either here or here. Both are perfectly fine. Both this and this. Just not not here. It's completely unnecessary line sacrifice and rush move rush placement why there's no rush needed really you can take it slow yeah this, this placement is much worse than it seems, I believe. Because it kind of breaks the whole right, in a way. But breaks the whole right side of the board. Basically, it's much worse than it seems. Yeah, unfortunately, now we have this double hole on the right, which we are going to have to deal with. It should be survivable. It should be survivable pretty easily, though. So it isn't that bad in this way as well, uh, uh, at least. Yeah, we got the pieces we needed. It's fortunate. That's, again, quite a bit of rush here. this z has to go there because it doesn't have any better place to go to l follows 
which is great, but the storm bar here is great, and this T suddenly we can simply put it flat, wait a bit more, but I decided to put it this way, and now I have this double hole once again. Right is kind of completely broken for a second. Fortunately, this J is gonna get me out of this because it's the perfect piece, and look how high the left is in the perfect shape. So that so the, this is great in taste. Although we if we don't if you don't get anything to fill this hole with like three pieces, this combined with this can get you into some trouble anyways, I believe. It isn't that good bot. Oh that that was a misdrop. I mean save the misdrop. Just look how late this placement is. This one, but this one. Yeah, it's, it's very late. Literally last second. Okay, here we have the wall just to get us back on this L. That's great. Bring it to the sides here and there. And this O once again, it should have gone to the, all the way to the left. No rush with this pair. It can wait. The same with this uh, Z. It can it can go all the way to the right. There's no need to change anything in here for now. Yeah, this this bot is much worse than it seems. This left is way too flat, way too flat. It shouldn't be like, like this in pos if possible. And I believe it was possible to avoid it. Okay, but we are still fine. Yeah, this J with this S are great to the left. They make the space on the left relatively very good. This is fine as well. It, we can sacrifice a line here by putting it here and then letting the bolt have this good shape. And we have on this in the middle. So it would be all fine, but this is fine as well, actually. The thing is, this is open to the left, this is open to the right, but this throughout space here, it should be all fine. Yeah, this is good as well. We didn't get the piece to fill it, and so we just tra transform it into another kind of hole, which is fine, just fine. Here, we have on this and this many burns possible here. It's all right. Oh, and this O is a bit too early. This O really should fall all the way to the left here. Especially due to this beautiful wall charge we have here, possible. Now, this might be a bit problematic to open this bottom line once again. It shouldn't be that difficult though, but it is kind of problematic. Okay. Yes, this is better. Uh, well, let's talk about this for a moment. Uh, this is much better than this because this not only doesn't burn, but also it would create this hole on the left, this O shaped hole on the left. After putting it here, we are five high here, four high here. This is really unnecessary. This hole on the right is much better and it actually gives some good chances of opening this hole as well because Lomba here is going to kind of cut off the 10th column for a second. So if we get a Lomba here there's a great chance we'll be able to fill this without putting anything over this and even if it, there's an S like this we will be on 
just barely about to catch it with, with this height here on the left. So it should be all fine. This is just okay. We got the lomba and another all to the left. And here, this is a kind of a mistake actually. This lomba here. It would be much better here. The whole idea is if we put it like this, then the T is going to still cover this point here. While if we put this lumbar here, any burn here is going to open this immediately because it's so far away from here that it doesn't in that this with this that these two holes, this one with this one, wouldn't interfere with each other. That's kind of a mistake. That's also quite weird mistake because the whole idea of putting the lumbar here is kind of getting this possibility of getting pieces that would allow us to open this up immediately just with this line. Okay, but still with such a left there shouldn't be any problems. We are all safe. Surviving isn't, I think, here, basically. I mean, it, it problems with surviving aren't, I think, here. So, yeah, we're still doing fine. Just fine. Though, uh, we have quite too many two wides now, because there is one here, one here, one here, and one here. So it's like one too many, but yeah, there shouldn't be any problems further. Yeah, it's relatively fine. Okay, let's continue. The T here, another not good placement. It's unfortunately has to go either sacrificing the line here or to the right. Or maybe even here, it will be that bad. Quite rush, but the problem with this one is that this sacrifices the line immediately. With this one, it creates a double hole here and here. So this placement seems to be most likely the best one. It doesn't create any significant hole. This is left open. This is ready to burn. There are a lot of possibilities. Now we are really dependent on something too wide. There's a huge need for something too wide. And what's unfortunate with this setup, that the next piece is going to be the same piece we just had. So if you get an O, you're going to need another O. If you get an L, you're going to need another L. If you get a J, you're going to need another J. In, or something else, but those would be the perfect ones. This might be quite difficult. Fortunately, there is this O to the left, so we are out of trouble. Yes, we'll tra hold transform. This sacrifice is just fine. Because there isn't really a better place to put this L. Here, we would need another L to the right. Here, this is just a spire and doesn't have this at all. This, we're just one off the ground for, for a second, but it's all safe, all clean, all flat. And the, the, these are the important things. Now, this long bar to the right isn't that good. It has to go to the left, either horizontally or vertically. This one shouldn't matter. But now changing this whole, transform this whole isn't a good idea. Here we have an O, S, J is the lumbar is always an option. After this, there are only 
three pieces that actually can go there simultaneously, S, T, and Lombard. Lombard isn't an option for a second because we just had Lombard, so it will be, we can assume it will be the yet another piece, the yet next piece uh, in the long, waiting for Lombard here scenario. There is no S and T right now. And uh, the J here also isn't really an option because it sacrifices this line and this combined with this one is something we want to avoid. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean J, I meant uh, L. And also L is really needed here on the left. It's the perfect piece to be put all the way to the left now. Okay, this is all fine. Now this L can be put as I put it, but it, it seems slightly better here on the left for some reason. Yeah, it will be better here. Okay. Oh, good here. It seems like there's something wrong. I don't think there is. Maybe this L isn't that optimal. That's it's fine. This has to be sacrificed. This is fine. Although it's three high, is one of those situations where you can do it because you have this burn here, which makes it uh, too high immediately. And yeah, this lumbar here isn't that bad, because making it too high on the left back again pretty quickly is a big kind of a big deal. So yeah, it can go to the left, to the right as well, but I I prefer it here, especially that it isn't even that spireish. This kind of spire exists here now, but take into consideration that uh, thanks to this we have the left too high once again, it's just fine. Yes, it's all fine, just fine. This L to the left is great. Finally, I put this L as it should be put. Here, wide open to the left. Look at this great shape. And this, again, quite too early burn. This J would be much better here on the right. This all goes to the left, as usual. That's a very common mistake for everyone, not only me. Fortunately, there was the slumber. This is great. And this S can follow here. I know it would create this double hole here and here, but they are so far from each other, and there are so many ways to deal with this without this kind of piece, that it will be all fine. Yeah, 
it's, it's all great. But what happened here? Suddenly, kind of out of nowhere, there are these travels. Yeah, I think this T is an issue. It seems slightly better here on the right, because this T blocks the left here. Yeah. Now it's all high here. So only O is a good piece to the left, even though I can go there. But after this, there's even this kind of double was started here, so we will have this S burn if needed. Yeah, now this lumbar can go to the right, but then it would create this four white hole here with six points filled, which is quite insecure to say the least. So yeah, burning with it is a kind of a good option, and now we get this Z which has to go here now. So that's what where the issues come from. It was all fine, basically. And here I sacrificed this line immediately as well. I think that was a mistake. Most likely I didn't see, I can't open this line open after this. Now there are two lines sacrificed. I'm pretty sure I didn't want it. This all has to go here in this case. Just sacrificing the first line, the bottom line, the first row entirely, but at least keeping the left open. Now there might be some issues. Yeah. It has to go here because we don't want to block this left in a way that we can't put L here. If we put this here and L and fill this call which is created here with L. Now we will be on three high on the second column, so another L will be needed to the left in order to just survive without quick taps. That's why this is the way to go. We're waiting for S if possible here, and but he would also be fine. And this S doesn't go here, it doesn't go to the left hole. This is a serious mistake, really serious mistake. It, it just has to go here, creating this proper shape, at least. You see, here there will be this proper shape of the ball from right to the right. Now, there's this kind of a spire. It doesn't seem to, but it is kind of a spire already. It, there is no proper shape. It's going to be quite difficult to manage. Yeah, this is how it ends up. Yeah, it's all fine. Those are all the con con consequences of those mistakes. There's nothing else that could have been done. Yeah, very fortunate lumbar. And this is fine as well. Just fine sign to the left. Oh, that's a mistake, I believe. Put in something on top of that. I would like to avoid it. I would prefer this S all the way to the right. Because then we will have the access to this bottom row. On the other hand, isn't that bad? Because now we have this triple hole here, here, and here. And in this way, we transform it to the double hole only here and here. While after S here, we still have the triple hole, so it isn't that bad in this way. But yeah, I would still prefer to have it open, because now in, op in order to open this, we will need this row, and this in a complete mess. This double hole here, if we get Z to the left, we have double hole here. This, will, this can be long opening, really. This thing goes here. Oh, great pieces. Those are really great pieces to get in this kind of situ situation. Yeah, they are just great.
really great RNG. And it's also here very important that this O goes all the way to the left. There's no rush open in it. After this, it gets way more complicated if O goes here. But here with this O, we can wait for this all around. Finally, this point will get open. That's a misdrop. And I think I didn't gain the whole ba das back yet. Putting this long bar to the right here. Yeah, it's very late. You, you, you see how late it is? It barely goes there to the, to the right. It's fortunate it goes there at all. So there's still no das on this O to put, to put it all the way to the left, which would be the thing to do. And here I think I have the dust back, or maybe even not, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think I don't have it, because I wouldn't do this placement. I'm pretty sure it was to go here, and didn't go there for some reason. By the way, putting this lumbar vertically in the middle is kind of a bad idea in itself. In this kind of situation, a vertical lumbar, which is put in a way that its highest point is gonna be empty on both sides. So when we now put this lumbar here and it's empty here and here, it's a bad idea usually. It's just kind of not a rule, but kind of a property in a way of the lumbar on panel 19. Also here, moment before, the same is with this lumbar. It's quite a serious mistake uh, to put it there. But there were dust issues, so I can't really tell what I was pos what was possible. Although I can tell that this flat lumbar here should be possible, and I think that's the best place, the best thing to do in this say in this very situation. Also, lumbar all the way to the right was possible. Maybe that was an attempt of lumbar all the way to the right, but I don't think so. Most likely, I just want to put it here, which is kind of a mistake. And here, this lumbar, once again, all the way to the left horizontally or all the way to the right vertically. One of those two options would be by far the best. It doesn't really matter which one of them most, li most likely. I prefer this one to the left, but it's just kind of preference. Here, this has to go here. And now, for some reason, I don't burn here. I have no idea why. Uh, maybe I lost that so much that I thought it was so difficult to play anymore that I just wanted to go for, for this Tetris and hope for, for the long bar. I don't remember exactly what happened there. Because now I was in a score range that Merke already uh, topped out. And one Tetris was winning the game for, for me. Most likely I just decided to go for it having seen all those dust troubles here, it was very difficult to get dust back after that kind of misdrop that occurred here with this O, and now this all consequences of that. Maybe I just wanted to set up for touches, but I don't believe with this one, because this placement doesn't make sense so much. Maybe it was just a complete brain fart, or whatever who knows we never got to know that maybe that that was just a misroot they wanted to put it here because yeah it makes sense it kind of makes sense as well to put this number here because then there are a lot of burns here s t um, l there are a lot of possibilities then yeah this looks like th that maybe this was the thing i was trying to do and here, in this situation, now it's like clear that all I want is just a Tetris trying to get it for at whatever cost. Now, not even trying to burn, maybe trying to burn this time if possible, but not touching the well. Long bar wins the game, no long bar loses the game, and that's it. In some cases, if you are if you feel very insecure with your, your game, 
it might be the optimal thing to do although once you do it you are completely under dependent you can't tell you, you can't say you got unlucky if you didn't get the lomba it's like an a an entirely coin flip depending on how much space you have and how you use it uh, you have a bit better of, or a bit worse chance but basically it's kind of a coin flip at the end of the day here, that, that's a very good good setup to wait in this way because it's the very center of the board, the fourth, the fifth column, and there's a lot of space on both right and left. You can use all of that, this much, really, like twelve pieces easily. Let's see how many. I what happened? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces, and there are still like four pieces of space easily here wait and the space was used very badly here there was a burn possible which really has to be done and which i missed completely i have no idea why just burn here and even if you don't if you won't be able to set up any other burns you still get these two pieces of space more just thanks to this burn but fortunately, I got the Lomba and I won the game with that. Now, it would I don't think it's possible to save it. I mean, th theoretically it is with perfect pieces, but in real game, not, not really, that, it didn't really matter. The game was won. That's all I wanted. <laughs> all right. So this would be basically it for the regular... Uh, parts of the second Pan 19 com compendium turned out to, it turned out to be sh quite shorter than I had expected it to be, but I also uh, reduced the amount of games I wanted to analyze in full to just four. So that's uh, thanks to that. If you think there are some games I should add to the compendium, not necessarily mine. They can be uh, somebody else games, of course, if they agree to to get them analyzed here on my games uh, if you feel like there is something I should have also created another part on or explain something in more detail or you think I missed something please let me know we'll see what I can do depend on the feedback and the interest in the compendium maybe I will create some uh, next uh, next parts some additional games on my own if not, if I if I get some games proposed, and I will surely do it at some point. Trying to do it pretty quickly, pretty soonish. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, learned something from it. This is basically the whole base of Pan 19 you need in order to be able to uh, discover further things on your own really if you watch that and understood that you're definitely ready to go for basically power 19 max out if you didn't miss drop at all okay so i'm waiting for your feedback i'm waiting for games to analyze not necessary for the compendium I analyze everything i get and hope to see you maybe in the third compendium or just next parts of this one. And to finish, as always, I will play this post-transition in full so that you can see it without me talking as it was played originally. Thanks. Bye.